Greetings folks. Those uh, nutty folks at AKK have come up with uh, another uh, ultra high power analog video transmitter that they've sent to me for the review. This is the TX5000AC. It's a uh, smaller footprint 5 watt analog video transmitter that has all the available channels. Of course, you have to make sure that uh, whatever channel and whatever power you're using is legal in your particular area. And again, I'll stipulate that uh, increasing the power is sort of the last resort for getting longer range with analog FPV. First resort should be uh, improving the quality of your antennas, having a directional antenna on your receiver, all of that stuff before you go increasing power because uh, it won't necessarily get you a lot more range just by increasing the power. Get your antennas working first, uh, then increasing the power will give you a little bit more range. And as usual, it's a square relationship between power and range. You have to increase the power by four times to get double the range and deal with all the interference and noise as well. Anyway, it's available, five watt video transmitter, analog video transmitter. Let's have a closer look at it. So what do we get in the box? Little manual there, of course. Support smart audio, 25 milliwatts up to five watts. Built-in cooling fan, OSD configuration using smart audio, 14.6 to 228 volts with a five volt output for your camera. So it looks like we have Eight red LEDs for the channels and uh, four blue LEDs for the 12 bands. Power selection, uh, you can see via the green LED. Slow power on to protect it from going straight to maximum power. Has a pit mode. These are all the channels you can use. And they're warning you, be careful not to burn your fingers and plug the antenna in before powering up the VTX. And don't remove the cooling fan. And this shows us the wiring. We have the red input, black ground, green smart audio, yellow video in, and uh, black and red for five volts out for your camera. Okay, let's have a look. Here it is, nice little unit, uh, nice and compact. It has a double MCX antenna connection, lots of cooling, and what else do we have? So we have the extension cable for the antenna. It clicks in there and then we can plug the antennas in. Here's the power cable and I notice it has an electronic component on the uh, power in. What would that be? That would have to be uh, an inductor, I guess, if it's uh, just on one cable to reduce a bit of noise maybe. It could be a resistor, I suppose. Um, I'm not too sure, really. I'd have to pull that apart and have a look. Something to do with noise reduction or power regulation anyway. And uh, we get the choice of two antennas. One is five gigahertz and one is 5.8 gigahertz because this can handle all the wide range of channels available. You probably need to use the appropriate antenna depending on which end of the range of channels you are using, 5 gig or 5.8 gig. Connect an antenna, what do we use, a 5.8 I think. So there it all is, uh, let's go over to the website and have a, a little look on there uh, and I'll solder it up, pop it on a plane and go for a fly just to see how it works. I won't be using the higher powers because I'm pretty sure they're not legal where we are. What could I use? I could use uh, say 200 milliwatts and we'll just go for a fly to check how much noise gets through and um, make sure it actually works. All right we're over at the AKK website, AKK Ultra Long Range All Channels version 5 watt 4.9 to 6 gig ultra wide band 96 channel VTX TX 5000 AC. Claiming it as the world's first small form factor, 5 watt VTX, I would probably believe that too. Weight 25 grams, it's not a small video transmitter as you would expect, 25 grams, grams excluding the antenna. And you can go and have a look at the website if you want to check their 
um, pictures, the testing at the different bandwidths, check the different power outputs at uh, different frequencies if that stuff interests you. So I've soldered up the cable so I can connect them to a flight control board. Now remembering it needs uh, 4S to 6S power for the video transmitter so you need to power it from uh, a VBAT pin which I've found there. And we connect the smart audio cable into a spare UART T-pin. Then we go into the configurator, find that UART, which is UART 8 on my board there, and enable TBS smart audio in the peripherals. Then go to the OSD setup and enable video transmitter band and channel and video transmitter power level, and they will show up on your OSD there. And then you can go into your stick commands on your radio, your left and pitch up and then you can go in and change the band and channel and power on screen while you're setting up. So I have the TX5000AC AKK video transmitter strapped onto my Ranger 1600. It has an F765 wing flight control board in there. I have smart audio connected up. Um, so we're ready to go. I'm not going to do range tests or high power tests. Um, I just I'm not comfortable putting that on my channel as I'm sure you can understand. Uh, it's just going to be a flight on what will it be maybe 200 or 500 milliwatts. Now you can see the smart audio stuff down on the screen down there channel uh, and band and power um, and I'll show you the on-screen uh, bring up the menu go down to video transmitter uh, you can get it out of pit mode change the band and the channel but I don't want to do that because I'd have to search again power it says 200 500 800 and maybe they're the higher powers I'm not too sure Anyway, I'll stick with, say, 500, maybe. Set that. Yes. And we're pretty good to go. Seven satellites. Taking a bit of time to find it. And, ooh, we're getting a lot of interference there uh, that's not too good I am uh, getting the power off straight off the battery so yeah it is uh, noise getting into the line but uh, see when I glide the noise goes away so yeah need some better filtering I wonder what's going on there I didn't have a um, high enough voltage pin on the flight control board so had to power it straight from the battery you can see the noise goes away when you turn the motor off. So the previous setup was no good, had too much noise in the system, possibly because I was powering it directly from the battery. Uh, there might have been ground loops, long runs of uh, cables going past the ESC and everything. So I've changed to a different board that can provide uh, VBAT power from the board. This is a Matek F765WSE. Made up a little pod to put the camera on and um, I am hopeful that this is going to work properly. Alright, different channel now. This is A1 on my... Uh, this is reading as A1, which is a very different channel to what A1 is on my goggles, I think. Yes, that's looking better. That's looking very nice. Just have to choose a better channel. A1 probably matches the um, antenna that I've got on the transmitter better. Got 
cooking with gas now. That's looking very nice. Good picture. All right, so there we have the AKK 5 watt TC 5000 AC for all channels. Uh, only working at 200 milliwatts at the moment, uh, but you would expect very good range at full power if you're allowed to do it. But that's working well. Very good indeed. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.